Hello artists, I'm excited to share with you some steps for creating using your digital toolbox of art materials. Sometimes it's hard to find the physical paintbrush, paper, scissors, glue, anything for making art. Sometimes it's hard to find those tools. So there is a way that you can create digitally and let me show you how. The first step is to go down and find the type here to search bar. It's in the bottom left corner of your screen. So to find what I'm looking for, I will type in the word paint. I'll open this paint application. You should see a paint palette and a brush. There should be some paint on your palette with a paintbrush for that icon. And I will open it up. Okay. You have so much to try and explore and experiment with. So let me just give you a few suggestions and tips that I've really found to help and be successful in art. So the first thing I would recommend is investigating how, how you can fill the background. With this paint bucket, you can drop in any color that you want. The best part about this, if you don't see the color that you're looking for, if you click edit colors, you have any imaginable dream color from all of the rainbow and more. So find your color that you like the most and you can click add to custom colors and it fills in one of your special colors that you've created and see it's right here. So now I can keep on using that. Once you run out, you can always fill that box with a new color if you change your mind. Okay, so you saw that I just put down the purple background. So let me share with you another neat trick. Instead of using the fill bucket, you could choose rectangle for your shape. And with the cursor, you notice my cursor looks like a cross or the, the lowercase letter T. It gives me the place that I would put my cursor right in that corner with the dot. As I drag down, I fill in the box and it goes to a dashed line around the edges. It looks like a marching line of ants on a picnic blanket. So that's what I recommend for filling the entire edge to edge shape. But then my friends, see this paint bucket here? I don't use this one anymore. I'll go right here to fill. This time I want it to overlay. Oh my goodness, you see what happens? Now you can do a layered artwork. See color one was purple and I could stick with purple as my color two option, but I could try a different color there and do layers for a really interesting background. This one looks like crayons. This one looks like a marker overlay. There's oil paint, a pencil texture, as well as watercolor. So you can get a lot of different designs and ideas through this digital way of using your tools. You can also just choose no fill, but for this one, I'll go back to crayons. Say you've changed your mind and you don't want yellow. See how I still have this line, this dashed line? I don't click out of that space until I'm happy with my color because it can change as long as you have those lines of the line of marching ants. And again, I really like that. That's pretty neat. But if you change your mind, you can build new colors and make up your own color palette there. So I'll go back to this one. Hmm. What else can we add? Oh my, okay. I want you to try to play around and see what you can draw and create and build, but you have a bunch of different brushes. You have a bunch of different scissor tools through cropping, and you have lots of things to play around in. You can even draw with the eraser. I choose eraser, and I'll click on size. 
You see you have a bunch of different sizes, the smallest to the largest. You can erase and reveal color too. Notice that I've chosen eraser and it chose just the layer number two. To undo, just hit this button that is right up here and I'll get rid of that. Okay, so let's try another tool. Mm. Okay, I'm still in that size. The marker tip gets really wide and then you can play around with the layers. This is almost like a highlighter. So wherever you lift off, there's a transparent, you can see through a little transparent there. Whoa, it's pretty neat, right? So you can play around with those. Another cool trick, whatever shape you draw, see how it fills in automatically with color too? There is that feature. And then say for example, you want to draw your own shape, your very own shape with whatever material. I drew a light circle here and I will click in fill bucket. Oops. Again, sometimes you have to redo your choices. <laughs> I will choose a, a tool to use for my outline shape. Okay, here is a circle that I hand drew. And with the fill bucket, it was supposed to fill in, <laughs> but that's okay. Sometimes our tricks don't work always, but you see, I was using that medium size. If I wanted to fill that in, I could use the large, the large size brush and go gently and fill in. And it looks like real paint on the screen here. Hmm, what else can we add? This one's a fun tool, this one. It's like a calligraphy pen gives you wide lines and thin lines. This one over here, again, gives you that texture. Pretty cool. And you can choose for a jumbo crayon or the thin crayon. You can do a lot with this. The colored pencil is often a great option because you can get some sketchy lines happening and notice the thin line almost blends in completely if you're using similar colors. I am scumbling, stirring up the colored pencil to add some texture to this abstract sampler. Okay, what else can we do? Mm -hmm. Can we try that marker and the paintbrush? Ooh, there are so many options. So this is the one that I was going to share with you. But first, any work that you're working in, go to Save As and title it and save it to your desktop. So it's always there. Okay, save that one and I will open a new page. This is what I wanted to share earlier. So I draw a shape any shape with the fill bucket. I go in and it, be, it fills in. Again, any shape you draw by hand with your mouse, whatever shape you draw, as long as it connects all the way, look what happens, that didn't close all the way and everything got filled in by accident. So remember friends, close your shape all the way. Don't, no, no, I didn't, okay. Close your shape all the way, no matter what tool you're using. And you can fill in that shape. I'm gonna try for a leaf here, a leaf shape. And I filled in my leaf shape. Now I'm going to draw over top of that with a thinner line and add the veins in the leaf so it can, oops, I want you to be able to see this. There we go. 
I'm going to create a leaf for my poison dart frog that I will be adding later. Hmm, there's the leaf pattern. Make sure that I close the line. Use the fill bucket and fill in all of those spaces. Okay. And again, friends, you can do so much. Play around with this tool. See what you can do. And have a lot of fun in the process. I can't wait to see what you end up making. I'm having fun. It's very calming to fill in your shapes. I know I want to make this the background of an endangered animal project, so I'll be adding lots more leaves. So I'll share with you the final product of mine on this when I'm done. So try out those steps and I look forward to seeing what you try and make. So as you can tell, I'm still adding layers upon layers, enjoying the process to find what I can add next. Sky is the limit when you try with layers and all the different brush strokes. And thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Maybe add some color in your world today. No matter what you create, have a great time. Thanks again. See you soon. Bye.